this is great. This is so exciting. They got my, they got all my plants out here. I said I wouldn't do a show unless I had plants in cages. So that's <laughs> why we have this. No, I, that's not true. I made it up. Um, let me tell you guys about myself a little bit. Um, in case you're wondering, I am in fact half white, half Chinese, uh, but sometimes it's hard to tell. You know, like sometimes people get mad at me because I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you know, like one time this guy's like, don't even speak Spanish, man? What kind of a beaner are you? <laughs> It's like, uh, I guess you could say I'm a, a soy beater? <laughs> Was that what you wanted? I don't know. I've heard this one too. It's a, don't you want to get with your roots, man? Speak Spanish, get with your roots? I was like, uh, my roots are made of ginseng. <laughs> If I want to get with my roots, I'll go home and watch Rush Hour 2. <laughs> That's the one where they go to China. <laughs> if I want to get with my roots, I'll go with my boys and play some ping pong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are, those are my roots. I actually get mistaken for about every light brown race out there, which is where I get my street name. And that's uh, brown rice. <laughs> Very street. I'm hard. If I could, I would start my own half Asian gang. You know, we wouldn't be like the Crips or the Bloods. We'd be the Cruds. It's really tough. It is, I promise. But sometimes when I really want to confuse people, what I will do is I will talk with an accent, you know, like, uh, it's really nice to meet you, blokes. They'd be like, uh, I didn't know England had Mexicans. <laughs> How did they get over there? <laughs> His parents must have been some real good swimmers. <laughs> That's not right. You can't say that. Yeah, it's good though. I love being Asian though, because we all have our Asian skin, you know, like we all look a lot younger than we really are. Like me, I am 65 years old. <laughs> now, I'm actually 42, but now that I'm getting older, I'm starting to get hair in places where I've never had it before. Like my face. <laughs> oh. It's great. I go like one or two weeks, I can actually grow a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Things are looking up for me. It's true what they say, you know, 40 really is the new puberty. <laughs> it's good. I'm actually, um, I'm half white, half Taiwanese. Uh, Taiwan's an island off the coast of China. It's part of the Republic of China, but sometimes if I say Taiwan, people get confused, you know, they'd be like, oh, so you're Thai. Like, no, that's Thailand. Sometimes they'll think it's funny. Like one time I was in the South, this guy was like, so were you made in Taiwan? <laughs> It's like, no, you're from Arkansas. Were you made at a family reunion? <laughs> Nobody from Arkansas in here. That's, that's how I know. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, I found that it's really hard to get indignant about your race when you're not really familiar with your own background, you know? Like, sometimes people will be like, hey, so do you speak Taiwanese? I'm like, um, excuse me, it's Mandarin Chinese, and no, I don't speak it. <laughs> it's tough, it's hard to do that. So I'm not from around here originally, I live here now, but I grew up in California, in a city called Chino. California? Yeah! I grew up in Chino. You guys know where that is? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that Chino is Spanish for Chinaman? <laughs> that Chinaman from Chinaman. 
I don't really have a joke for that. It just makes me really angry. <laughs> I'm glad you guys appreciate that. So, yeah, I noticed that a lot of prescription drugs today have a lot of side effects. You know, like me, I have acid reflux, so I take Nexium. Works great, but it gives me diarrhea, so I take Zelnorm. That makes me depressed, so I take Zoloft. And that makes my hair fall out, so I take Propecia. <laughs> Works great but it gives me acid reflux. <laughs> you guys are a smart crowd. Cause like one time I told that joke in Arkansas and lost everybody. <laughs> they were like, that guy takes a lot of drugs. <laughs> and he's not very funny. I heard he's from Thailand. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm not I'm not very cool. Like I, I I like to act like I am. I know I got you guys fooled and stuff, but I wasn't very cool. Well, that's not funny. Come on. <laughs> like I wasn't very cool in high school. I was in the marching band. We got some of those in here. Yeah. Like two. <laughs> going strong. <laughs> Oh, yeah, whatever you said, I don't know. That's very good. I did that, I was way into marching band. Uh, I never got into sports. I never understood, like, sometimes a, a, a sports team will lose a big game and all their fans be rioting in the streets, you know? Like, you never see people in marching band doing that, you know, you never see us out there be like, ah, LA Philharmonic is very underappreciated. <laughs> Let's go loot the library. <laughs> they have lots of good books there. Plus, I've racked up some late fees, so. <laughs> Vengeance. <laughs> Never did that. Maybe I should have. Things are crazy, though. I noticed um, a few years ago, there was an oil spill down in Salt Lake. I don't know if you guys heard about that. And uh, they worked really hard to make sure the oil didn't make it into the Great Salt Lake. That's good. You don't want that to happen because then it would make the Salt Lake all smelly and gross. <laughs> and then like nobody would be swimming in it. <laughs> Just make my thoughts on that. So I think tramp stamps are funny, you know the tattoos back here? You know, because 20, 30 years from now they'll be known as Granny Fannies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy, but apparently your nana was unsavory. <laughs> she has a little tear tattoo. She's, she's hard. <laughs> Man, things are good, though. We are living in the future. I don't know if you knew that, but it's true, because I remember growing up as a kid in the 80s, like every science fiction movie would be based on right about now. <laughs> They're like, in the year 2017, after the Third World War, I was like, wow, that's just in my lifetime, I'm totally gonna see that. But it's not like that, you know? If they made a more accurate movie, it would have been like this. In the year 2017, Donald Trump is president. <laughs> that's not possible. <laughs> and the 80s are cool again. Rated R. I can't even watch it. Crap. Weird, man. I love food, though. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's feeling a little weird. I went to the Taco Bell today, and on the sign out there, they had they had these words that said they had words on the sign. It said, "Now hiring experienced chefs." And I was like, "Wow." Where do you have to work to get enough experience? Like, do you start out at the animal shelter? Then go to the Taco Bell where you still serve up dog food? That's, 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 uh, we live in a beautiful world today, though. There's love everywhere. Sometimes two people will meet, and at that exact moment, they'll look at each other and go, wow, that person is amazing. I want to spend the rest of my life with that person. 
It's called love at first sight. It's beautiful. But sometimes only one person feels that way. <laughs> and that's what you call a psycho stalker. <laughs> and that's why I believe that couples who believe in love at first sight are really just crazy people who happen to find each other. <laughs> at BYU. <laughs> I was gonna go. That's great. So, I am married though. We got married people in here. Everybody in here. All right. Welcome to Provo. It's good though. I try to be a good husband. I try really hard. I try to be a good listener. I really do. Like, I will see the lips flapping and I'll think to myself, I'm gonna listen, 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 I'm gonna listen. Oh crap, what did you say? You know, I think that all married men have this problem. You know, maybe like doctors should come up with a name for it. Maybe like husband attention deficit disorder. That way you go to the doctor, he'll say, I know what's wrong with you. You've been married for 18 years. You've been had. <laughs> I kid though, it's great. I try to be a good husband. I try really hard. I, I fail a lot. We were at a friend's wedding reception and uh, in the middle of the reception, he got up and he was like, I would now like to perform for you all a song. I wrote about my new wife. And I was like, dang, that is good. He is totally scoring some points. And so later on, on, I was like, I should do that. I got up and I was like, I would now like to perform for you all. A joke, or what about my wife? <laughs> I did not rack up any points that night. I got some negative points. My game was over. She's a tough lady though. She's really, she's in charge. She's got this, uh, she's got this list on the fridge. She calls it her honeydews, you know? She's got the things I'm gonna do and my OCD kicks in, I start checking off the list. I got that done, I got that done. And pretty soon I was like, that is a bunch of crap. Those aren't honeydews, those are man chores. <laughs> Just like I'm a kid again. That's not right. She does, she does wear the pants in the family, she wears the pants in the relationship though. That's, that's the way it is when you're married. My, my single friends don't understand, you know, they'd be like, Mike, aren't there married couples out there where the man wears the pants in the family? It's like, yeah, those guys are called wife beaters. <laughs> you don't wanna do that. Those guys are jerks. What's going on with them, man? Worth it. We had the whole argument about the toilet seat one time. You guys done that at all? Nobody's done that. She was like, you should leave the seat down for me at night so I don't fall in. And I was joking around, I was like, maybe you should leave the seat up for me because I'm the man of the house. Ah! And uh, so now I pee sitting down. It's not an applause joke. I know you ladies think it is. The other night she surprised me though. She actually left the seat up for me. And uh, that crap is not funny because I have narrow hips. Not funny. Like I said, though, I'm not very cool. I'm uh, 42 years old. I still have a bully. I do. There's this kid in our neighborhood. He'll, like, show up at my yard, start calling me names, and kicking me. He'll take off. He added me on Facebook and started cyberbullying me. He was like, hey, I hope you fall and hurt yourself, Dad. <laughs> yeah, my son is a jerk. He is seven years old. 
We started potty training my daughter, my youngest daughter. Yeah. The trouble with potty training is uh, once they start doing that, they realize that they have a secret weapon. <laughs> if you ever make a man. Like, the dad's like, clean your room. She was like, Dad, I poop my pants. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> Perhaps then I will clean my room. Yeah. It's tough. She is hard. She's 10 years old. It's... The families are great though. Some people take it overboard a little bit. Some people got those, uh, those bumper stickers, you know, with the, the stick figures. Come on, I know you guys have them. This is Provo. <laughs> you know, they got the mom and dad, seven kids. And uh, that's great and all, but I was thinking, maybe they should make those for single people. You know? Like you could have a guy just smiling, holding a beer, just. <laughs> that could be great. Then he gets a girl, a serious girlfriend, you just paste a woman there right next to him. Then things go bad, you just cross her out. <laughs> and then you get a guy held by like a bunch of exes. You'd be like, oh, that guy is a player. <laughs> that could be really good. Yeah. So I had a tough childhood though. It was tough growing up in my house. I still remember the day when I was a teenager and I found out I wasn't adopted. <laughs> I was like, holy cow, you guys are my real parents? <laughs> so you mean to tell me that I am not Mexican? <laughs> my mom was tough. Yeah, you know, about the grades, she'd be like, Michael, how come you get to grade like a white boy? I was like, Ma, you know, I am half white. She'd be like, no, you're not. He not to be a father, shh. <laughs> I think she wanted me to date white girls too. No, Asian girls. She wanted me to date Asian girls too. <laughs> like she'd drop these little hands, she'd be like, Michael, you need girlfriend who good at math. <laughs> Try Mei Ling, she make honor roll. Your girlfriend does not even make egg roll. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yeah, mom was crazy. She used to make up holidays. Like she told me that the month of May was a special time for celebrating Chinese heritage. She called it Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> yeah, things are good. I love being Asian though, like I said. I love Asian food. I love Japanese food, like the Japanese chefs that cook the food real fast, right in front of you, you know, the whole. But what I think would be really cool is to see the Japanese chef who gets laid off and is forced to work in the school lunch line. <laughs> Sloppy jaw. <laughs> it could be all right. Uh, growing up was really uh, weird around the holidays. It's really, you know, we got like Easter coming up, but uh, all the holidays are weird for me growing up. So I wanted to tell you a little about that. Uh, I've got a, I've got a special song for y'all. It's tuned real quick. La, 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 la. Shut up! It, I'm really good when no one can hear me. <laughs> All right, so this song is uh, actually, it's about how Christmas was 
uh, in my household with my mom. Sorry, because of this. Chicken foot soup and pig's ear too. Christmas time is hard with Chinese food. <laughs> Happy Christmas Eve. Dinner's done, got some mystery meat. It don't taste good. What happened to my cat, Sophie? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> Here's the deal, we would never actually do that because two reasons. Cat, first of all, cats are very lean. They don't have a lot of meat. And it's also very bitter meat. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> Shut up. Cause it just don't feel like Christmas with Chinese food. Cause everybody's having a new year. But me, I have to wait until February, cause that's when Chinese New Year's is. <laughs> Sometimes it also falls in late January. <laughs> Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. Chinese Christmas. Chinese Christmas. Chinese Christmas Eve. No, no. Have some more pig's feet. Meow. Oh, that's. Hey, Sophie. It's a Christmas miracle. Happy Christmas Eve. Thank you.